guys, this morning I got this brilliant idea to totally redo the coffee bar. And I enlisted Honey's help. We're going to go out to the workshop now and show you what we're going to do to replace in this space right here. Follow me. Let's go. This is a headboard that I picked up a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And Honey, a.k.a. Honey, <laughs> is going to turn this into a two-shelf shelving unit. So he's going to put a shelf here. And then he's going to cut this off, put a shelf here, and then put these back on the bottom. So super stoked about this. Can't wait for him to get done so I can paint it up. And here we go. Okay. Yeah, measuring pre Putting the smaller shelf on there. Looks like he's already cut these off. And so the bottom shelf is going to go here. And then those little pieces are going to come down below. So. I'm so excited to paint this. We're moving right along. Moving right along. Um, the next day. <laughs> and um, I did get this mostly painted. The reason why I didn't paint the edges was Honey decided late last night that he didn't like how square they look so he's going to take that back out to his building he's going to round those off take some chunks out make it look old because it does look very new and we kind of want it to look old but um, i did paint it brown just for now i'm going to paint over the top of that and then distress the brown back unless i really like the brown because you know our our dining room is brown so I'm not sure yet. Um, maybe I wonder how it would look with white wax. Hmm. So anyway, um, it does have these. This was the bottom of the leg and I had him cut it off, uh, put the shelf in like that and then attach the leg back. So that's where we're at today. We uh, hope to get this on the wall by tonight brown this morning I think I showed you I hope I did <laughs> and so after painting it brown we had to go out and came back and it was really completely dry so then I painted it with um, the DIY white swan and the brown color I had used was the DIY layered chocolate so it's pretty amazing, and I'm pretty excited to distress it and then wax it. And Honey is putting this French cleat, his homemade French cleat. And straight up. yep, I'm going to have to cut this off and help him. So I'll be back. So here is the homemade French cleat that my brilliant husband. Created. We don't know if it's pretty yet. We don't know if it's going to sit in there yet. But. So it's got this angle here, and this one has that angle. So in theory, this should just set right in there. All right. Looks ugly from the back. It doesn't look ugly from the front. <laughs> and that is a crunch plate. <laughs> 
So that's what our coffee bar system is going to be. I know it doesn't match the bottom piece, but you know what? We're going farmhouse, and eventually, I mean, it's going to look really cool when the coffee bar is all done on top and everything, but I'm going to do that in a separate video. This was just to show you how we transform that headboard. Well, how he transformed the headboard <laughs> into the shelving unit. Uh, baby dog painted it up. And... Yeah, I painted it and distressed it and waxed it, and he was the creator of it. So super, super love it. Tell us what you think. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I'm going to do a separate video on how to decorate it. More to come. <laughs>